Welcome to Graph Tutorials, I'm Shiva and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can add and adjust text in Premiere Pro. So as you can see I already have my uh, project ready and as it's snowing outside here today in the Netherlands I chose a picture or an illustration I should say of a snowy landscape. Now, if you want to add text to your project, this is quite simple. Um, down here, you have this text icon, the type tool, which you can also activate by pressing T. And with the type tool, you can make a, an area where you want to put your text. Now, you have to type something, of course. Uh, let's say we wintry landscape landscape okay then you have your text but you can also adjust this text so with the text uh, still selected if you go to the left side you have the option to expand this text window and you can find it under effect controls if you don't have the effect controls visible you can go to window and then select effect controls now in these effect controls you can say i want my text to be centered i want it to be aligned to the right to the left all regular regular things you can do with text and you can also choose a type you want to use you can choose if you want it thin italic so everything you can do with a normal text you can also change here in this text option window and then you can also of course enlarge the text and all that you can choose your color your scale rotation it's all editable in this window and as you can see here you get an extra layer on top of your background you're using and if you're playing if you're making a video you can decide when your text should be visible just by trimming this uh, layer. So as you can see now, if you go in the beginning, it will only show up as soon as your layer is visible and then it will also disappear when you stop the layer. So that was it, a quick video on how to add and adjust text in Premiere Pro. Let me know in the comments below if you liked it, maybe also press the thumbs up button if you did. And if you want to see more of my future videos, you can consider pressing the subscribe button also. But for now, stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.